Hello world, we have a fun one today and it is a crossover. We're gonna be doing an unboxing, a product review, and then finish up with recipes and a little bit of eating. On top of all of that, it's a throwback. Today we are doing ch 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 chia There's a new pet. ch 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 chia Chia Pet, the pottery that grows. It's fun, easy, and educational. So I do not recall having one of these growing up. So I think this is my first one. What we're gonna do is bust this puppy out and we're going to get it growing and keep an eye on that process. And then at the end, we're going to harvest the sprouts and, um, you know, sprinkle them on some avocado toast or something. Cause we're hashtag basic. Hashtag basic. Wait, no, we're not basic. So um, let's go ahead. I got the elephant cause it's my favorite animal. And I love this retro packaging. This is so great. It's like they haven't changed a thing. So uh, we're gonna get this guy going and uh, we'll take it from there. Here is what you get in the package. I can't say it's all that exciting. Chia seeds on the top. And then some basic information about planting and growing the seeds. We're gonna go through that. And then of course, the terracotta planter itself. And there she is. Last but not least, the drip tray, and you are gonna want to use that and save it, so don't throw it away. So that is what you get in the box. This guy ran me $17.99, and that's what it comes with. So to get the Chia Pet started, you need to soak it in water, planter itself for 30 minutes, and then these seeds as well. The package comes with I think three or four plantings worth of seeds. And then you can also buy non-chia pet proprietary chia seeds at grocery stores or health food stores. And after about 15, 20 minutes, they will get gelatinous like this. Okay, everything has soaked. The chia seeds have turned into a gel consistency. What we're gonna do now is spread them over the planter. We actually let that sit for two days and dry uh, counterintuitively so that the seeds can adhere to the planter. And then after that two days, we fill the planter with water and keep it filled with water as well as um, mist the outside of the seeds of the planter every day. Um, and then it should start growing. So let's get this thing together. Getting the chia seeds on the pet is a sloppy affair. The pet is ridged to try and hold the seeds, but it is just kind of a free-for-all, so you're gonna need to get in there. Always loitering. Okay, this is a great shot. Cinematography Awards. So what they don't tell you is if this thing should be in the sun or not for the two days that it's sitting and drying. So I'm just gonna put it in like indirect sunlight, leave it in the kitchen here and it should dry just fine. My arm's tired now. So to get this guy going, we got him over by the bonsai tree. And that's where he lived for like four days before I moved him closer to the window because he wasn't growing at all. Captain's log. Two weeks of Chia Pet, and it is patchy AF, y'all. It's coming though. We're real leggy on this side. We're real short over here, and we're bald on the top. But, you know, I'm gonna give it a few more days, and then we gonna eat it. Okay, so it has been about three weeks, a couple days shy, and this is the sad affair of my Chia Pet. Marvel in its scraggliness. Yeah, it's, um, it's sad and somewhat disgusting. Uh, we've got total baldness, male pattern baldness at the top, no growth there. So I'm just going to, and then very wiry, long Chia Sprouts in the classic U shape. 
So we're just gonna harvest these bad boys cause I'm tired of waiting and we're gonna see how they taste. I don't think I've ever had chia sprouts. I've had alfalfa sprouts, but this will be a first for me. Let's get you close up. I mean, it's just, it's not ideal. It is not ideal. Okay, it is time to harvest our chia sprouts, which are pulling straight off. Though I read it's best to trim them from the seeds. I'm sure you could eat the seeds, but we're going to trim. Okay, that is oddly satisfying. Here is our chia harvest. It is quite sad as well. Let's get to my favorite part, the eating. The chia pet as a fun decorative hobby that's fun to grow, um, I don't know about yet. I'm gonna try it again, I'm gonna reseed it and we'll give it a try, but it took forever and it never really was a full, you know, fully covered with hair, if you will. So, screw all that, let's get to the eating part. I've got micro amounts of my microgreens here three different ways, so we're just gonna give them a try. Uh, cucumber and hummus and chia sprouts red pepper and avocado and chia sprouts, and soft Swiss cheese, turkey, and uh, chia sprouts. I'm learning as I do this. I'm not gonna be like the sardines video and not try it by itself first. So here we go. I got about a, this much of chia sprouts and I'm gonna give them a try raw. Okay, obviously very green tasting. They're a little spicy. I mean, v not like heat spicy, but they definitely have a little bit of a punch to them. I don't know if it's almost citrusy or kind of spicy. They're good though. Hmm. My dog is snorting in the back. Okay, they're good. They taste like a microgreen. Very green flavor, a little bit of crunch. There's some dimension to the flavor there. Lexi. So they taste like you would expect them to. Lots of green, a little bit of crunch, um, and there's some dimension of the flavor there. So let's try them on our little amuse bouches. And here comes Lexi, because there's food out. I can't say that I can really taste them in all that hummus. And the cucumber is kind of a similar flavor profile. I also have the everything bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's on here as well. I love that stuff, it's so good. All right, let's give this one a try. I like that one better because it's got the everything bagel seasoning on it and avocado. I'm not picking up a whole lot of the chia sprout taste on these, but they're beautiful. I mean, it looks good. So tell me that if you put this out, you know, any appetizer with microgreens on top of it looks so much fancier. And you could say that you grew them yourself, which is super bougie and hipster. So with the turkey and the cheese on the cracker, you can taste them more because there's no other vegetal element. It's a good way to have them. Okay, so that's a wrap on the Chia Pet tasting experiment. I have seen online that an easy way to grow chia seeds is in just a terracotta dish, kind of like the bottom of what comes in a planter. So if you want to try this, I recommend that. I can imagine that it's much less you know, fussy and easier if you're just wanting to grow the sprouts to eat them. 
The Chia Pet right now is getting kind of this from me based on the results, but they taste really good. I recommend you give this a try. I love finding things that I can grow in my kitchen throughout the winter. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give it the big old thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you see what I get into next time. Peace. I feel like I have Chia sprouts in my teeth.